So in this video, uh, I want to talk about some Rockstar games that I've played, you know, uh, including Grand Theft Auto and how I kind of felt about them. Um, when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, I think that was just the, kind of the first big one, and I loved that you could do everything in it with the open worldness. What I didn't like about it, um, and I think I, you know, they did it for specific reasons, was they restricted you to the, uh, the first island uh, initially, you know, and kind of opened up areas as the missions progressed, which is fine um, from their perspective. You know, uh, I'm an IT guy, so I know from a memory perspective, you know, having everything loaded into memory back then would have taken a lot. So I think you have to kind of segment it as it is, uh, and that's fine. Um, you know, in recent in recent games, even as far as Grand Theft Auto 4, they still kind of restricted movement between islands. Um, and that was kind of my only bit, bit pet peeve about that. I like in Grand Theft Auto 4 how they started introducing the cover system with the firing. I think that really, really kind of helps a lot um, because that makes it a little more realistic that if you take cover, you won't get hit as much. And when I play online, I tend to do that a lot. I tend to take cover and kind of shoot from a covered position. And people always yell at me because, you know, I'm able to knock them out even though they claim they hit me. Um, and I keep telling them, use cover. I should just stand there. And I'm going to be able to take you out if you're just standing there not taking cover. So um, I'm, I'm a big believer in the cover system. Now, um, as far as other Rockstar games, I recently got Max Payne 3. And I got it because Grand Theft Auto 5 mechanics, as far as shooting, is going to be similar to it. And I wanted to kind of test it out and, you know, play with it. Um, I think the game from a graphical perspective is amazing. It looks incredible. Uh, it's a little too linear for me, um, and that's fine, you know, for just learning how to play this. Uh, and um, I do enjoy it. The, the one thing that kind of bothers me, I mean, for a shooting game that's supposed to be ultra kind of realistic, you know, not really realistic as far as bullet time, but, you know, a little more, you know, if you hit the right places, uh, I kind of find it kind of cheesy that if I hit somebody in their arm, that they're shooting with that they don't drop their guns and things like that so but that's just me you know uh, i understand it probably would make the game a lot more difficult if that happened but um you no know, i do like max Payne. I, i'm looking forward to actually playing more of it just to kind of get used to the mechanics i did play la noir um and i thought that was a little different i do like the open worldness of that it's not it wasn't as big but uh i did enjoy that and i did like the game uh, and I think Rockstar overall uh, just makes great games. One of the best games besides Grand Theft Auto that I've played of theirs is Red, uh, Red Dead Redemption. And I thought that was beautifully made. Uh, I loved it. I, I thought it was just such a great game. The map was huge. Uh, and it was historically kind of, you know, accurate to the, to the, to the period. And I, I, I played that game so much. It was incredible. And uh, I did enjoy it. One thing I don't enjoy, and I, I know I might get some flack about this from some people, I don't enjoy the zombie stuff. I, I don't know. I, I just, I never got into it. I don't enjoy, you know, the, the zombie levels and things like that. I understand people like it, and that's fine. I'm just not into it. Um, so, you know, if, if developers want to invest less time or more time, I think that's one thing that, you know, I, I'm good without. Um, and um, so that, that's pretty much it. I'm looking, um, I'm looking forward to Grand Theft Auto V as far as, you know, the whole open worldness from the beginning. And I think that's going to be a huge thing because, um, you know, what do you do when you first start? You usually do a couple missions. And I think the first couple missions are usually to orient you anyway, to kind of teach you about how to use the mechanics of the game and how to do things. And I think those missions are kind of crucial to do. So I will definitely do those, but as soon as I can, you know, get around, you know, grab a vehicle and just go exploring, I definitely will. Um, I think it's going to be so much fun just to be able to do that. I'm also a big, you know, proponent of aircraft and things like that, so I'm looking forward to seeing how the aircraft fly and their, you know, the feel for them and things like that. So that's my, uh, my quick video about other Rockstar games. Uh, next video I'll probably do is just about GTA 5. Alright, catch you guys later.